Hello, my name is Emmanuel Hester. I am Mr. Junior of the Johnson C. Smith University. And um, my experience here at Johnson C. Smith University has been extraordinary. Um, I came to Johnson C. Smith in 2018. I came during the pre-semester session through the Biddle Institute. And I knew from that point on, like, this is my HBCU. Actually, no. From my first tour of the school, when I was in middle school with my grandmother and my mom, I was like, Mom, I like it here. Like, everybody was so welcoming. And my grandma said, you're going to be the first to go to school. So if you're going to go, I want you to go to an HBCU. And so that always stuck with me. So I did pre-semester and I made some great connections with uh, alum. Well, they're alum now. But uh I, I connected with upperclassmen. They automatically put me in leadership. Uh, I definitely was already off the back, very interested in it. And I was like, okay, I see the professors are really invested. They're really like, here, you're not just a number. You're not just a student ID number. They're here to literally make sure you're good. They make sure they got you with resources. And that's something I, I love about our university. You go to a and some other big school, you're not going to get that. Um, so freshman year, I did so much, like, I was just so charged to, like, get active and just be there in the forefront of everything. So, if you were there through it all, y'all know I've missed a freshman. Oh, that's some of the stuff back there, y'all. Some, the, some of the titles I've won. But, uh, Mr. Freshman, freshman year, I was in Royal Vanity Mall and Troop RV. <laughs> I was also in the Gospel Choir, um... I've I've done a lot. I joined Alpha Lambda Delta National Art Society my freshman year. It was amazing. Like one thing I can say, the professors during my freshman year made sure I was good too. And I can't continue without stating sorry. I can't continue without saying that uh Dean Jones. Freshman year, Dean Jones made sure that we were good. Always and I always kept those close connects with her and everybody in it, uh, just administration in general. Um, but she always had our backs and uh, definitely got shout out Miss Simmons uh, and Mr. Bugs and Dr. King, Dr. Porter. Like, I love y'all. Like, they really invested in, like, in us. So anytime we had a, crush, a question or anything, oh, Miss Gutierrez. All of everybody, they really were in tune with us and they made sure that we understood we're in college and we got resources, we can lean on them. I love that. Um, sophomore year came around, um, it was another great year. One well, Mr. Sophomore, um, uh, I was definitely still very much so active, uh, in everything. <laughs> uh, I would say my workload has never been really light at Smith. I always took a lot of credits just because I want to be ahead. Um, that was one thing about me. I stayed busy and I did summer school as well. So every year I did summer school just because I I like not being, look, I don't like being at a point where I'm just like not doing nothing or I'm just like, oh, uh, well, I'm complacent right now. I'm good. Nah, I like to be like busy 24 seven. Like that's why you always see me like on the go at, at Smith. You will never see me just, just chilling unless I'm eating. <laughs> Other than that, I was like, okay, what is there? What else is there to do? Um, I would say, yeah, my summer year, I, would, I have done uh, some summits at Smith. I've been flown out twice by my institution. Uh, one for the HRC Human Rights Campaign Leadership Summit. Uh, that was so eye-opening for me. It was a big, pivotal, pivotal time for me it really charged me to be a leader, being being someone that is openly gay and just in leadership at an HBCU and so in tune. Like that 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 cohort I had joined there, it was amazing. They really showed me things and charged me to be that change agent on my campus. So I I definitely am grateful for that with uh Mr. Dorsey. I I cared to Mr. Dorsey and Mr. uh oh excuse me, Dr. Dean. Uh, you guys have really pushed me as well. Um, my junior year, well, 
in the midst of the end of summer year and entering junior year, COVID hit, you know. So it was more of very stressful, I would say, just because it's like, we got an eviction notice? Like, y'all just gonna kick us out like that? Like, y'all love us? That's how it felt. It's like, nah. I knew the world was ending. It's like, nah, not ending, but it's just like, <laughs> it was a lot going on, you guys. And so for me, it was like, I was mad because it was my birthday time. I was supposed to be turning 21, supposed to be enjoying myself. COVID hits, no 21 birthday. So it's all good. It's okay. Cause I, I got what I had to get, but it was just like so much being a costume at that time though, you guys, in all seriousness, it was so much that we had to go through and had to endure. Like I know for me, I'm not no virtual learner. That, that's not how you teach. You're not teaching me that way. It's not going to work. I've tried it for myself and it's like, I lost, I could say like definitely I've lost like a lot of motivation behind the camera. Like on campus, you are like, I'm just, I feel like I am just so charged to do so much. Like I got my connects, I got students around me. I'm always busy to help. I'm always ready to give a helping hand. I'm ready to speak. I'm ready to do so much, but just being at home, like I've never been a student to be able to like concentrate in my room. I'm normally the one, like I have to go like outside my room just to get work done. So for me being in my own room or like, you know what I'm saying? Boxed in my room all the time, just supposed to be on a Zoom call. Man, that is not, that's not what I'm accustomed to, especially when I had that full experience my freshman is, is freshman year and, you know, majority of the sophomore year. So it was a lot to deal with. And as college students, we need that motivation. So I know it was very difficult for me and some other students when it came to motivation and being, you know, active as in like always there on that Zoom call. It's a lot. It takes a lot. You might not think it's a lot, but it is a lot for us. Um, but my experience at Smith has been amazing. Also, with me serving uh, all three years, uh it has been extraordinary to have Nakivi Durham by my side the whole way through. I do not take any moment we have shared for granted. Um, she has been an amazing queen at this university. And she's going to go all the way, definitely. Um, but uh, also, I would like to say that JCSU is always the open door policy when it comes down to like, you need someone to talk to. You got Miss Parsons. You got so many connects. You got so many people you can talk. To. Even professors like I found me a mentor like Miss 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 Tarrant Miss Simmons Miss Miss Simmons. Uh, she she worked for the Bill Institute. Uh, she's still there. She also just got an award. Uh, it was a high achievement award. Congratulations to you. Um, she was my mentor. She made sure I was good. Still to this day, I can call her and she can. Give me advice on anything. She looked out for me. She still do to this day. And I'm so grateful for the connections and the relationships I have built along the way at Smith. Um, not every university, you're going to get that, like I said before. Um, so I would say it's vital for you to make those connects and network while you're at Johnson C. Smith University. It definitely pays off. I also have to say um, I did do work study as a student. That did pay off. I did learn a lot within the commu uh, communications and marketing department within our university, working alongside of uh, Colin and uh, Lazitra and um, Ms. Belfield and Aurelia. I love you guys. They really made sure I were f I was focused. They didn't, they didn't give me no slack. They made sure if I messed up or anything wasn't right, they made sure they came to me about it and made sure things was correct. And I definitely, I definitely look up to them um, they made sure I was on point, and if I was slacking, I was definitely notified, but they made sure everything was right, everything was necessary, everything that I had to endure with them was necessary, and I definitely cherish that, um, we have a, we have an amazing, we have amazing staff and faculty, and just endless support, and it's the, the best thing about it, we're in the heart of Charlotte, uptown. So there's always stuff going on in Charlotte. Well, since the pandemic, it's not too much, but it's still like a lot going on. You can always find something to do. So I could definitely say in the midst of uh, 
classes were when classes were over, the nightlife here in Charlotte was amazing. Like you go uptown, you go to the Epic Center, you got it's stuff all around. So it's an amazing place to be at. And also the games, y'all, the games, I miss them so much. Like the rivalry team, you know, Livingstone, who? Anyway, it's it's a good it's a good feeling to have that HBCU rivalry. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you pick up them keys, yeah, y'all know what time it is. Like, that's the hype. That's the love. That's the energy that Johnson C. Smith brings to each student. And if you don't get out your room, y'all, if y'all don't get out your room, your dorm rooms, and don't want to be active, y'all are not going to have a good experience. I've had a ball. Like, I do not take anything for granted. Like, I have battled a love. I have hosted talent shows and parties. I have... Uh, I've done an endless amount of things at Johnson C. Smith University. And I cherish every moment. Uh, and I advise anybody that wants to go to Smith, just just indulge yourself in it. You give yourself to Smith, Smith's going to give this stuff to you. You, If you put in work, they gonna, it's, it's all going to come back to you. Like, it's endless amount of support there. And as I close out this junior year chapter and I enter my senior year, I am just so excited to just be a student. I am so excited to just enjoy my final moments. I mean, time has flew by. I can't believe I'm, I've made it this far, y'all. Like, I, I knew I was going to make it far, but I didn't know like it was going to come this fast. Uh, like I'm going to miss it when I graduate, but I'm not going to rush it. I ain't going to think that far right now. But I just know that this experience represents the gold and the blue forever true in my heart. It has been amazing. And if you need anybody to talk to, reach out. Reach out to me. Reach out to other student leaders on campus. Um, if you need help, there's always resources, like I've said maybe five times in this video. Reach out. Reach out. That's all you have to do. But uh, when it comes down to uh, when it comes down to just thanking everybody, I just I can't I don't want to miss out on nobody. But I thank everybody that has just been there for me, been there for just in general. Like it's just love at John C. Smith University, and I definitely cater myself to them, and they cater back to me. Um, and again, I am Emmanuel Hester, the former Mr. Freshman, Mr. Sophomore, Mr. Junior currently, and still hailing as the Mr. Crimson and Cream, representing the Gamma Lambda chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I am charged to be that leader, that change agent in our community on campus, the LGBTQ activist, and... Y'all gonna see what I end up being. And it's always gonna be a reflection of Johnson C. Smith University. I thank you for just tuning in, watching my video. And also, I can't forget, thank you, President Clarence D. Arbister and First Lady. Thank you too. Thank y'all for just leading us the right way, making sure us students have the best light and best things to full advantage. Um, Y'all y'all have both uh, represent our institution in the best light. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, that's really about it, you guys. And if you need to reach out to me, you can personally DM me through Instagram at slo.mojo. Or you can send me an email, you know. I mean, we got two emails. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. All right, I gotta do this for the one time. <clears throat> Let me prepare myself. J C S U, you know, <laughs> and you know, look, representing Black Black Lives Matter, y'all. And make sure y'all continue to uplift each other during these times. Stay safe, wear your mask, and all that. Um, I'm about to go. I love you guys, and. Forever uphold the gold and the blue. Bye, you guys.